What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Number 10. When you enter Zero's shop, you can see action figures of Rockstar characters from Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Manhunt. Also, if you check out the RC section, you'll notice the store has several model vehicles, some of them based on vehicles from San Andreas. Number 9. The name of the mission Body Harvest is likely a reference to the Nintendo 64 game of the same name, produced by Rockstar North when they were DMA Design. It's arguably Rockstar's first free-roaming 3D adventure, setting the precedent for GTA 3 to follow. The use of a combined harvester is likely a reference to Body Harvest, as a part of the game involves the use of a combined harvester to run over zombies. Number 8. The original beta name for Grove Street Families was Orange Grove Families. Beta graffiti around South Central Los Santos refers to the Orange Grove Families and the OGF still exists. Likewise, CJ can get a tattoo on his upper back in Los Santos that refers to the Orange Grove Families. CJ will also sometimes shout out phrases related to the Orange Grove Families and the OGF during a fight. Number 7. The full-sized micro SMG, alternatively called Uzi, was originally intended to be featured in the game, but it was cut from the final release. It can be seen in several beta screenshots. Number 6. In the mission Mad Dogs Rhymes, one of the security guards playing a video game, possibly Driver, says, This sucks, I mean, how could the refractions mess up so bad? You suck, Tanner. This is actually an easter egg mocking the game Driver, which some consider to be a Grand Theft Auto clone. The main character's name is Tanner, and the game was made by Reflections. Number 5. On the Tiki Theater Symposium building in Los Santos, close to Grove Street, there's a giant Tiki idol resembling one of the collectible hidden packages from Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Number 4. The PSG-1 was originally going to make an appearance in the game, but it was removed. It can still be seen in ammunition, and the sniper rifle's HUD icon resembles the PSG-1. Number 3. There is a fictional bar motel called the Little Probin in San Andreas, located north of Fort Carson. The Little Probin is actually a parody of the Little Alien in Rachel, Nevada. The interior of the Probin matches the interior of the real-life Little Alien. Down the road from Probin is Area 69, a parody of Area 51. The name Little Probin is spelled as deliberately as its namesake. The Little Alien, whose name when spoken with apostrophe sounds like Little Alien. Similarly, Little Probin sounds like Little Probing, a double entendre including both sexual penetration and the infamous anal probe supposedly used on abductees by aliens. Little Probin is additionally distinguished by a variety of photographs hung on the walls that seemingly depict flying saucers. A map of San Andreas with numbers of marks is also found in the back room, likely a reference to UFO hunting. Number 2. Deleted audio for the game reveals that Rockstar Games had intended for a high ranking Forelli family gang member in the St. Mark's Bistro to be called Marco Forelli. However, as the audio was not used, the character remains unnamed. Number 1. In the introduction, a 20 minute video that was available with the North American PS2 Special Edition of GTA San Andreas or the official soundtrack Double CD, the appearance of Sex Club 7 in the Liberty City scene is a canon error. Before 1998, it was called Pauly's Review Bar. This happened because Rockstar wrote GTA Liberty City stories after GTA San Andreas. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 10 video about Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Follow me on Twitter for various reasons because I tweet things out periodically. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.